exactly is an earnest money deposit when buying a home? Well, that's what we're talking about today, and we're starting right now. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Angela O'Hare, a realtor here in Las Vegas, Nevada, with the O'Hare team at Urban Nest Realty. If this is your first time here, please consider subscribing by clicking one of those buttons down below and even that bell for notifications. So the topic today is, what is an earnest money deposit when buying a home? The earnest money deposit is an important part in the home buying process. It is different from a down payment and often a lot less. It's basically a good faith gesture and lets the sellers know that you are serious about purchasing a home. Sellers rarely accept offers without an earnest money deposit. Assuming that all goes well and your offer is accepted by the seller, these funds will be applied towards your down payment or sometimes even your closing costs. Here are three common questions our buyers have about the earnest money deposit. The first question is, is how much money should you put down for an earnest money deposit? The amount you'll pay for your earnest money deposit depends on what the seller requires. On average, however, you can expect to hand over one to 2% of the total purchase price of the home. We typically see earnest money deposits, again, it just depends on the, the amount the home is selling for, anywhere between three and 5,000. Now, of course, if you're buying a very high-end home in the millions, then your earnest money deposit is gonna be a lot bigger. But typically, we've seen three to 5,000 here in Las Vegas. Our second question that our buyers have is, when do they make the earnest money deposit and who holds on to it? After your offer has been accepted and you sign the purchase agreement, your earnest money deposit will be given to the title company, typically in a wire. The title company will um, email you wiring instructions to wire the earnest money deposit to the title company's bank. After turning in the deposit, the money is held in an escrow account until the home sale is in its final stages. After everything is ready, the funds will be released from the escrow account and applied towards your down payment. And the last question our buyers have is, how can we get our earnest money deposit back if something goes wrong? There are a number of ways to lose your earnest money deposit, but the key to keeping it is in preparation. Preparation means knowing related deadlines and adding contingencies in your purchase agreement. I also did a video on this topic, what are contingencies? You can click on the link somewhere above me. <laughs> Make sure that your purchase agreement covers how your refund is handled. Contingencies allow you to build get out clauses into the deal. Many unforeseen events can arise during the closing process. While you might not have an idea what they are, a contingency protects you against them. Some contingencies include not being able to get financing, the home inspection fails, the house doesn't appraise accordingly, or there's some title issues. Navigating through the various earnest money deposit caveats isn't something that you have to do alone. As your realtor, I will help answer any questions you have and negotiate contingencies that are favorable to you. But doing some research can go a long way to ensuring that your earnest money deposit is not lost. Question of the day. What real estate topic would you like me to go over in my next video? Leave a comment down below. If you like this video, be sure to hit the thumbs up button. Leave a comment down below, share with a friend, and consider subscribing if you're interested in learning anything real estate related in the Las Vegas Valley. Thank you so much for watching today and I'll see you on the next one.